Hey guys, Alex the Vegan Gamer, and we're playing Bayonetta. All right, let's continue here. What is this? It seems like the witches use this to study the stars. Even though it is resting in places, it was well constructed. It's gonna be part of the puzzle for sure. And what does this do? Oh, it influences the sun and the moon. Okay. I wanna have a look at the scenery here. Whoa. This almost looks like some type of graveyard. Okay. Let's try this. What did it do? I'm not sure I truly understand what just happened. Oh, okay, I can walk on on walls now because it's it's the moon. So I guess I'm gonna walk over here. Ooh. Wait, maybe I can walk on these columns. Can I walk on these columns or am I just gonna fall to my death? Eh, I'm not going to try myself, or should I? Okay, whatever, I'll try, and I'm just going to fall. Nope, doesn't work, invisible wall. Okay. going to walk here, and I have a feeling it's going to teleport us somewhere. Whoa, look at that! What? There's monsters here. Does this thing work? Oh, okay, the second I start shooting, she stops moving. <laughs> I'm gonna hit this guy. Weird stuff. And we're gonna reach the other side. Well, that went pretty well. But it does! New type of monster. Second Sphere Harmony Dominions. Wait, I want to change weapon. Give me the whip. Whip it, whip it! How does this work? A chainsaw? What? <laughs> whip it, whip it. Chainsaw is a special item. 
Yeah, only gold. Probably because I wasn't quick enough. I think there's three pieces of this, so there's one more missing. My boss fight still went pretty well. Whoa, how awesome is that? Chainsaw! I'm gonna round up using it because I'm using it everywhere. Can I jump down there? I wonder. Can I jump down there? I'm gonna try. Should I? Am I gonna be able to come back up again? Or am I supposed to go there and that's supposed to push me down? Yeah, I think that's how it's supposed to go. I'm going up. Too sure what I'm doing. I'm gonna go down here. Cool chainsaw. I'm not gonna read this right now, you guys. I will wait. I will wait till the end of the level. This. this must have been used during the training of witches. Step on it gives hints of some sort of faint movement. Ah, I think I have to go in and stand on top of this place. And then jump on it. Not a very complicated puzzle. Doesn't matter. Still interesting. Alright. Open sesame! <laughs> Should be awesome! I have a feeling there's gonna be a boss and I'm gonna have to hurry up. And... Cool armor. Oh, I love this boss. Third sphere. Harder. Hurrah! And that went pretty well. You've been naughty. I've been naughty. Alright, I can walk on walls. And I have a weapon.
I uh, just wanted to check if there was something. I guess not. What is this? Devilish writing on the wall. Whoa. That hurts. Platinum's alright. I'm happy as long as I get platinum. I like having to look around to be sure I got all the gargoyles. I'm almost on top. I love this video game, you guys. I didn't expect to like it that much. I knew it would, but... Yeah. Well, that hurts. Get over here. What? Can I walk here? I guess I was slightly too close. What? No! No! Why did she end up falling? I don't get it. I don't get it. Can they allow me to? Oh. <laughs> What should I do first? Should I do this? The lever first? I'll do the lever first. Is that just gonna open the gate? I can go up. Or can I? Yes, I guess I can. Come on. I'm gonna have to repair this. Pieces of a brutally destroyed witch statue. Some kind of power source is preventing it from reforming. Uh oh, monster time! Adios! I'm gonna pick up these gloves. Is this gonna help reform the statue? You've been naughty. Pure platinum! Great! Oh, darn. I always run up using the weapons. Oh well. What am I supposed to do, though? Huh, these puzzles. Ha! I have a feeling I have to go down. No, 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 no! Oh, 
No. I'm going to try it all over again, you guys. I'm going to replay this level and figure out what I was supposed to do here. And I'll show you guys in the montage. Oh, it's the wind. It's so windy here. Can I go back down from here? Or am I supposed to go up? I'm gonna still oh, the wind. What's up with this wind? I just got a magic flute. A uh, magic flute said to have been played by the mythical sea beasts known as sirens. Causes heavy damage to any nearby angels. That wind monster, I don't like him. He's gonna try and push me off. Whoa. Oh, there's a book. Okay, we gotta go get that book. Witch graves within the city. Alright, last piece. Alright, now I have this on it in DK 448. I think I'm gonna read the books right now because I'm gonna reach the boss and not know about this place. What? What a jerk. Come on, hurry up, Bayonetta, you can do it. What a jerk. That monster's a jerk. Okay. <laughs> Boss fight. First fear. Inspired. Yeah, he seems pretty strong. What the heck? Why is he laying there? That blackbird out of my hair, he's gonna eat him. Oh, he is gonna eat him, for real. <laughs> well, I don't mind eating bad guys. Platinum is good. I'm alright with that. Okay, let's move on. I'm vegan, but like evil demonic souls should be eaten. Even though he was like an angel type monster. 
But I don't know if the angel monsters in this game are, are really that good either. Alright you guys, I'm gonna save right here. So don't forget to save the animals, kick some monsters butt, and I'll see you in the next video. Especially if they're like giant serpents that fly in the air and try to make you fall off the tower. In that case, you really do you want to kick some butt. <laughs> Alright, see you all later. Bye. I think I'm gonna read the books right now cuz I'm gonna reach the boss and not know about this place Antonio's notebook Figret is littered with the legacies of an ancient age. Amongst these are the stone coffins used to bury departed witches. Along with their fellow overseers of history, the Lumen Sages, the Umbra witches, used their incredible powers to repel any intrusion upon Figret. Under these auspices, what does that mean? The witches abode by the terms of their netherworldly contracts, and upon parting with the physical world, the strongest of the witches were deified as guardians and buried in stone coffins throughout the town. These stone coffins were sealed tight, and it was said that only those with knowledge of the witch's magic could open them. And we are a witch, so I guess we do have that knowledge. Even during the witch hunts, when the coffins were subjected to attempted demon demolition, not a single soul was able to peer into the contents within. According to the one theory, the contract with their demon master stipulates that upon leaving this earth, a witch soul nor body can remain. The said Humbran burial customs were developed for that very reason. The women would bury their loved ones in treasured stone coffins to lessen the pain of those denied for those destined for inferno, even if the effect was slight. Today, unable to break the magic seal upon the coffins, the Lumen Sage Seal of the Sun has been placed upon the stone sarcophagi as a counterweight. If by chance the power of witches were to return to this world, they would be prevented from opening their coffins due to the seal. This is a clear indicator of the sort of persecution the women were subjected to during the, witches, the witch hunts. While the whereabouts of the witch's tomb is outlined above, the location of the tombs for the Lumen Sages remain unknown. According to remaining records, they had taken up final resting places with the Umbra in the secluded regions known as the Crescent and Sunrise Valleys. Oh, we see those tombs pretty much everywhere in the game. We have like gifts inside, special items. Well, special, not that special, basic items. <laughs> it is said that the Lumen Sages conducted their duties not in the darkness but the light, rest peacefully in their valley after departing from this world. Finally, there are rumors that somewhere in Vigrid, research is underway to extract the spirit energy from the departed witches. It seems that the fate of the Ember Witch and Lumen Sage has yet to truly be decided. Okay, I'm gonna read the other one and I'll, I'll post this at the end of the video. The Witch's Tears of Blood. Beginning in the 15th century, the whole of Europe has been swept by a madness, a tragic event unprecedented in the whole of human history. The witch hunts, as a result, the dark clan of Humbar witches were wiped from the pages of history forever. Working at the behest of the powers that be and making use of their ancient magical arts, 
the witches watched over the passage of time within the human world. Or at least they did, until suddenly being swept up into waves in, in waves of persecution and finally crumbling away under the pressure of the people's harsh recriminations. I don't see how any human could beat her though. She seems like so freaking powerful. So if there were so many witches, how could they be defeated by humans? I don't get it. Especially when she has like that beast dog. The woman's sorrowful bloodstained tears crystallize into bright red gemstones and according to Vicridian legend are said to be scattered everywhere. These stones filled with their feelings of regret are known as Umbran Tears of Blood. To this day, the people of Vigrid believe that should 100 of these stones be brought together as one, enormous calamity shall befall the land. Yet no one has actually seen one of these gemstones. The ultimate of witchly souvenirs. They must be found for you by a crow, a beast whose heart lies in a resonance with the departed witches. These crows act as the witches' loyal servants, protecting their tears from falling into human hands. I have to get 100 of these? Meh, I don't think so.